guys, it's Zoshi and as you can see from the title, this is going to be a video of uh, pretty much a first impression of a few decks that I bought in the, I would say, last two, one and a half, two months. Um, if you are, you know, if you're following my channel or when I post, you know that my grandmother died recently and some of these decks are definitely... <laughs> Um, were an attempt to deal with how I was feeling or, you know, how I wasn't feeling and I was just, you know, I was trying to do something to make me feel better and in this case, these, this attempt uh, failed, which was, you know, all in all a lesson and a new experience and I learned something about myself so I'm not not regretting anything uh, and any of these decks because they all seem to be very very good decks so in the long run they will probably serve me well <laughs> just right now they didn't give me that instant good feeling that i usually get when i'm i'm feeling really low and i was i talked about this earlier in other videos that you know when i'm sometimes when i feel really really bad or you know i feel really uh, just lost and dis discouraged and hopeless and whatnot, um, which is not an easy thing to feel or fun thing to feel. Sometimes I buy a deck because it makes me feel better, it makes me feel um, not just happy in that moment when I'm buying it, but, you know, I have something to look forward to and I like that option. And when life is a little hard or a lot of, <laughs> or, a, or, or a lot more than a little hard, it's a good thing to have something that you can look forward to, you know, and concentrate on your thoughts uh, on that little or small good thing that's coming, at least. At least, you know, that's that's how I cope with a lot of things. It's not healthy or whatever, I don't really know. I don't want to judge that. Uh, I judged it for a long time and I'm tired of judging myself for that. I do my best. This is part of... A learning curve or just existing i guess because i don't think that i will ever reach a place in my life that i will be able to handle everything in the moment the way that i should handle i think that's so close to being a buddha or something that i don't think i will reach that much <laughs> enlightenment in this life but you know if i can figure out things that why some certain things work why others don't then you know, that's, that's that's a step forward, I think. So, most of these decks, just to, you know, give myself some excuse, most of these were, uh, not all of them were discounted and, uh, you know, there were deals on them, so I, at least they were not um, that bad, even though with the, the exchange, exchange range rate uh, these days, that was still like, ugh. But I kind of felt I could justify it. And I did. So, <laughs> without further ado, if you want to just skip it, I will probably timestamp the whole thing. Uh, I have four decks. The first one was the Sugar Skull Tarot deck. Am I in frame? Yes, I am. Which I first saw on Chris's channel, Elemental Cartomancy. And when I saw the deck, I was like, oh, it's too big. And oh, I have the Santa Muerte, you know, with the the skulls and skeletons so i don't need this deck but i since then first of all i gifted um, the santa Maria to someone else so i don't have that deck anymore and then dom michelle <laughs> posted a video where she um showed how she modified the deck because you know both of us are small-handed people uh, which sounds ridiculous but it's it's a thing uh, so you know Oh, that's the guidebook. It's 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 not something that I could even hold like this. And when I saw what she did, you know, completely, I think she rem even removed the titles. Uh, it just made it so nice. And I I I liked the colors already. I liked the design. Uh, but when I looked into this deck back then, like I said, I said I don't need another. Uh, Sugar Skull Mexican, um, I mean, at least that's how I understand 
Mexican uh, folklore themed deck. But now I, you know, I had a vacancy, so I was able to be like, you know what? And that was, I think, when I bought this one. Uh, and there's a flip through already on, so up. So, you know, if you're curious about the deck, you can check it out. I will um, modify it and then I will show you in a f f future video how it turns out. But I think I will do the same, remove everything, because it's so obvious. It's such a Rider Waite Smith clone that, you know, you don't need the title to know that this is an emperor or this is the Hierophant. What was interesting with this deck, though, is that I only noticed that when I was uh, filming the flip through, the, the backs are different colors. And I don't know if, you know, it's, it's a different uh, printing, I'm assuming. And, you know, I'm not going to be bothered by it, but it's kind of interesting that these are, I don't know how much it picks up on camera, though. Uh, these are warm grayish toned black, and these are bluish toned black. And as you can see, hopefully you can see every second is a different color. So there were some interesting um, printing um, things or... or mishaps with it but since i'm uh, and uh, you know that's visible here as well but since i plan on removing a lot of that uh, it's not gonna be visible in the front i don't think i mean the black yeah the blacks are still different this is definitely more blue this is definitely more of that warm um, brownish grayish tone I'm assuming because this card has blue in it so I guess hmm, though that doesn't explain the back I don't know but it seems to be the thing that the blue tones are blue blacks and the warmer tones are the other kind of black but you know it's just you know something that I noticed I don't care I don't mind uh, especially because I plan on, you know, trimming it, and I bought myself a new guillotine trimmer, which was, is finally sold in Hungary, so I didn't have to buy it in euros, which I wouldn't do because exchange rate. Plus, I couldn't send back my uh, previous one because sending it back to Amazon, the, the German one, it's, it's, it costs more than buying a new one, so I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So I already have uh, a new cutter for this one, uh, still in the box because I didn't have time to open it. <laughs> it arrived, this, these two arrived the day that I started, uh, no, not the deck, the, the cutter, when I started working and I was like, thanks, I don't have time to do it now anymore. But I haven't really looked into, um, uh, like a lot into the guidebook, but it's kind of interesting that in this case, uh, it's either the exact same size, uh, you know, these, um, cards which can be useful because you know if you damage your card then you can't get a replacement you can maybe remove a sa uh, a page and you know mount it on some cardboard and uh, cardboard and, and work with it but we have um, some description of the artwork a basic meaning and then a reverse definition so if you want to do reverses which I don't but I, I tend to just read them through and uh, you know, I tend to see which side of the card I'm um, I'm supposed to focus on based on the other cards in the reading. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's a good one, I think, uh, just by you know first glance um, for new readers as well because the artwork the artwork is is the usual. There's enough information in the in the guidebook about all the cards and let's see if there's I haven't checked if. I haven't checked for um, uh, spreads, but yeah, there's spreads as well, so. And what I want to still get at some point is they have uh, Teron Tequila, I think that's named, and there is, which sounds interesting, I think, that book looks interesting, I kind of want to have that, because there's some, I think if I understood it correctly when I checked it, there, there's 78, um, Description that's come from how you read with if you're drinking the tequila or you know something with the tequila. If uh, 
there are uh, meanings uh, coming from the card, like for example, the magician, but there's also uh, meanings if uh, that's come from tequila as well. So I don't know how it uh, it pairs, but I think uh, just by surface glance. So I haven't looked into it. I need to see if it's a good book or not, but it kind of sounds fun, fun to have a deck that connects to this tarot deck uh, about tequila, because, you know, if I drink, which I don't really do often at all these days, but I would drink tequila, so I kind of like that idea. But, you know, I have to check if it makes any sense to get it. So, that was the first one. The second one, I think that was, nah, that was after my, uh, oh, I forgot to say that, you know, I got that deck when my grandma was really sick already, and it was an, I don't know, it was just something, Halloween was coming up and everybody was talking about ancestors and, you know, all those energies were in the air, so to say, <laughs> in the in the tarot co uh, community and as well in my own life. Uh, so that was, I don't even know why I wanted it. I just, I kind of felt like I needed the deck. But I didn't get it to make myself feel better necessarily. I just, I just thought that I, 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 I would benefit from having it in that moment. And I, like I said, I don't regret getting it because it's a good deck, and I know that I will enjoy it. But it didn't help with the confusion or figuring out what I wanted because that's not, you know, you can buy decks, but if you don't do the work. <laughs> You're not gonna figure out anything. <laughs> wow, surprise, I know. The yeah, second one was the Horror Tarot. And I bought this man, she died after a few days. I was like, I wanted something to make me feel better. Because I was confused, I was sad, I was not understanding why. I was as sad as I was because our relationship was complicated but at the same time not so you know all of a lot of confusion that comes from f being in a place where you grieve someone and <clears throat> that was before i got covid i think yeah and i see i've seen this deck uh, a couple of times on other people's channels and i can't i i I didn't want to get it because it's horror, and and if you know me, you know that I don't do horror. Horror is not my thing. But I really like the artwork, and the same person illustrated the deck, which I'm going to tell you in a second. Because right now I cannot remember. Oh, it's not on the box. Man. Or at least not on the back. Okay, it's on the box. Good, good. So it's uh, illustrated by Abigail Larson, and she did the, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I should be right, the dark wood tarot as well. And I love the illustration in that deck. And I kind of had this idea, and I still think that it's going to be a great pair. And I'm... <clears throat> um, sorry, my throat is still bleh, a little. Uh, that I'm going to pair this deck, which <sighs> some cards are... I'm not I'm not overly pleased with the production quality. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. I just want to say that, you know, I'm going to pair this one with the dark wood and in a sort of what's happening and, you know, what's happening under the surface uh, kind of reading because I think because the, uh, the two decks were done by the same illustrator but they have different, you know, colors and and themes in a way um, that pairing would be awesome. Especially because they are not too far away from each other, because I kind of feel like the dark wood um, has that dark space where, you know, no one dares to go, and th that is where the horror tarot's um, part or, uh, of the forest lives. So it kind of feels like you're digging deeper into the issue with this deck. And oh yeah, people are talking outside, awesome. But hey, it's, it's Saturday morning, so people have a right to go to the farmer's market. <laughs> but yeah, I was very... I was not interested at first because I thought that, you know, it's gonna be like scary in a way that I don't like scary, but it's just, it's 
I mean, it's interesting. I kind of like this. And I like the uh, the illustrated peeps. So this is not a, definitely not, look at the six of ones, not a lazy peep at all. So I, I was very, very happy to see this. So this was a good and positive surprise, even though I wanted the deck. And don't ask me why this was the good choice for getting it when my grandmother died. I have no idea. I think I was just, just looking at, um, you know, discounted um, decks and this was the one that I was most interested in. But I also tried it um, in a really fun Cluedo or Cluedo, Cluedo, yeah, <laughs> game with Tarot since then and it, it worked really well. So that was fun. I have that uh, video up on my channel if you want to see the um, the deck more in action, even though, you know, that was a lot of reading, reading with that, but still, yeah, let's try to put this back, um, and the guidebook, so, quality issues, there are some white smudges uh, on this one again, I will wash my hand again, um, and the, uh, the first copy that arrived, uh, because I wrote to Book Depository and they were really nice, they immediately sent um, the deck again. The first one was, uh, you know, put together from at least two pies, I don't know, but they were bent in different uh, directions. And even when I mixed the cards together, it was just still wobbly. And I, like I said, I don't like this white, Thing, uh, like why is that you know like so I have quality issues with the packaging with the cards even though the card stock is quite lovely and I know that there's a second a different edition this was the Titan books edition if I'm not mistaken please do let me know because I think I've seen an edition that has um, red um, foil uh, gilding as well red metallic uh, gilding which i thought that i was getting but turns out this edition doesn't have that which was something that i was looking forward to but maybe that's the um i think the titan books is the uk edition and the other one probably is um the us edition but i couldn't find the video since so i might have just imagined it but if you have the deck and the, uh, not the Titans book edition, please do let me know how it looks. Do you have um, an edging or not? Because now I'm com completely confused and I don't know. I know that the uh, Witches um, Oracle, a lot of the Witches uh, Oracle has um, red gilding, but I swear this one had two. So yeah, I don't know. I'm confused. So it's pretty... It's colorful, and uh, but the, I don't think that you know. There's a lot of description of uh, um, of the card. Not at least here for this one for the fool. You can put together the um, description of the card from the three parts, which is not necessarily bad. You know, I'm not saying that. Uh, it's just I, I kind of appreciate when it's more this thing, but you know, those are just, look at that, <laughs> um, uh, minor things. And for the minors, there's less um, uh, text and not a lot of uh, artwork description, even though maybe it's not even necessary, but you know, I kind of always appreciate if I can hear from the artist. And we have some Deal with the Devil, which I think is really cool. Uh, the Exercise, the Demons. Exercise, not Exercise. Oh my god, I can't say it right. Ex exorcism, right? Exercise. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. The Demons. And uh, this is about who determining who's uh, your friend and who is an enemy. <laughs> How might do that? <laughs> Just for fun. And Hiding in Shadows, a sample a spread. So... <clears throat> no typical uh, three card uh, reading but that's not really um, I think you can find that everywhere so you know I always appreciate uh, spreads connected to the deck but at least there's some 
um, text about um, the illustrator and the author as well. So I always like that. Yeah, this is the UK, it's the London version. So please do let me know if... What? Well, Inside Edition? So it's an Inside Edition? Huh. Okay, someone do let me know. But Inside Edition never had those issues for me before. So <laughs> not very pleased with the quality. Even though the box, the second box is better because the first one is really, really hard to remove. So these are just, you know, minor things. But since we are talking about um, tarot decks, these tactile experiences matter. Uh, the other one, the third one was <clears throat> also something that I was like, I even pulled the card <laughs> to ask if I should get the, get this deck and the, the deck was like, no, we don't need this. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but I still want to get it. <laughs> so that was kind of like me being, you know, every tarot reader's nightmare when you give advice to a client and the client is like, ah, I'm still going to do what I want to do. <laughs> ah, so I kind of made myself laugh and still got the deck because I wanted this deck and I still want the Hungarian edition of the Lysir's Tarot because that's one of my favorite ones and I kind of, I mean I have a few friends um, that I read um, Hungarian friends um, that I do uh, birthday readings and stuff like that so it would be cool to have them even though they they speak um, Hungarian when I do the readings in Hungarian it's it's just nicer to not need to constantly be like, oh, wait, that's the, that's the, that's, that's the, that, you know. Okay, so this is um, the Hungarian edition of the Antik Anatomy Tarot, aka Antik Anatomia. It's not that different. Um, <clears throat> I love the box. I love how it looks. The cards were nicely secured, so I'm very pleased with the production on this one, especially because this um, publisher is known for crappy um, car stock quality so the only reason why i bought this one is because my friend of mine already got it and she said that um oh okay well how do we get the pictures oh okay <laughs> um so she already told me that you know the quality was good enough so there's some ex uh, description of what the major and the minors are numerology and tarot i have no idea but i'm assuming it's the same as astrology and the tarot uh, as the english one because uh, you know that's how it used elements and tarot so i'm quite happy <laughs> yeah sure i'm gonna buy that big of a amethyst to protect this deck i'm sorry but no and some spreads and then the majors. I really like how this guidebook looks actually. I like I like the pictures. That it's not just an illustration of the card. I get kind of I'm kind of digging that. Uh, and then the minors. So I was um mm, some promotion. I was thinking about getting this deck for a while now, but I always talk myself out of it, thinking that, you know, I don't need it, and I, it's a peep deck, and what if I can't read with it, because it's a peep deck, and blah, 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 you know, all the excuses you're trying to distract yourself from a deck, even though, and I need to edge it for sure, I really liked how it looked, you know, but I still think it's true that, you know, um... It's not a deck that you can just pick up and start reading with. You need to read the guidebook. You need to put effort into working with it, which is not a problem for me. I just wasn't sure how good the guidebook was. So, yeah, I'm still not sure. Why didn't I check? Let me check. <clears throat> Let's check the Three of Cups, which is Elixirek Harmos. And I don't know, I like, do I want to make a Hungarian video about this? I have no idea. I have a few people, uh, but I don't know if, you know, we're Hungarian, but I don't know if it would be needed. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to read it out because it's not helpful to you. <laughs> mm, 
Okay, so it says that this uh, card in some spreads means that um, you're gonna celebrate with um, close friends and family members when you can just put together the everyday uh, problems and, you know, just be happy together and, and feel good, which is good. But, you know, if you give me uh, something like that in some spreads, then give me some other one, right? Hey, there's nothing there. But there are some keywords. Uh, or positive, because, you know, three of cups, so... Mm, I might have a problem with the translation, but <laughs> it's because I'm an asshole. No, it's just that, you know, stuff like that. But I didn't see anything about um, description of the artwork. But maybe if you have, please, if you have this deck, the original, please do let me know if the original has descriptions of uh, the artwork. And I'm, I really, I kind of like this card so to be honest it it's feels springy but it feels um it has a i think it has it, it has a good core because i don't think that this would um bend easily which is nice it, it's it honestly it's better than some of my ooh, for example hay house decks because hay house has some craptastic um cardstock these days but i'm i'm kind of still leaning towards getting the original as well at some point just to have it in english because i have issues yes i do <laughs> i don't know i i will have to decide how much i like it but uh yeah it's gonna be edged of course and then Hopefully, read with read to people, or you know, or I might just keep the Hungarian one and read, uh, you know, in uh, English Picard readings with this one as well. Because why not? I'm the one reading, so you know, it shouldn't be a problem. Yes, and the last one, and it's not even that long. It's the Terror of the Mystical Moment. I had my eyes on this one and the Oracle. I still want the Oracle, but the Oracle was not discounted, it, it was. Oof, expensive, so I was like, yeah, no, no, but later, later, you know. <laughs> Plus, it's a spring deck. Uh, it has definitely a spring energy, so it's definitely not going to come out to play anytime soon, but I still bought it because I wanted to make myself feel better. And this was when I was getting close to starting my new job, and, you know, I... I'm handling this change a lot more, but I... A world for that feeling but I'm you know change is still not easy for me I just don't like it and this was the one that I got to help me deal with the change but obviously by the time this one arrived I was already working so I, the, the bigger part of the change was already done so you know it's a, it's a it's a too late kind of thing um, the guidebook is not illustrated, which to be as I don't mind. Um, there's enough information about the cards, there are keywords, which I appreciate. I haven't read, you know, um, really through, of course, the guidebook yet, but uh, there's, um, <coughs> sorry, there's a description of the cards, which uh, with a deck like this, I think it's very useful. Because even though I find these uh, cards pretty, I would like to think that there are um, there's thought behind you know picking things. And there's um, how many spreads I can remember. Oh, there's uh, the female king because there's a male king and a female king for each, which is cool. I'm keeping my males, I think, because. Um, you know, I like to have kings, uh, male presenting kings or whatever in my decks. For me, the king and the queen are both uh, a different side of the same coin. And I like having um, gender representation like that too. But I completely understand when someone doesn't want that. So it's a good thing that, you know, we have the option. That's a very lovely thing that when you can actually, you know, decide what you want. And then there's just one spread. 
So I definitely need to read this through. And my biggest uh, concern with this deck was the size, because it's uh, bigger than a, ter a standard tarot, which uh, oh, I mean this one is a standard tarot, so a kind of or a, maybe a Llewellyn. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's Llewellyn size, so maybe a bit smaller, but you can see the difference and. I was looking at it, there's a lot of people that I know, um, like Debbie from Aquarius All, who loves this deck and, you know, we have a very similar uh, taste in decks, so I was very intrigued by this deck for a while now. Uh, I don't know where did I put the, uh, the Fool, because that's one of my favorite cards, but, okay. Kind of mixed. It's a bit slippery. It's um, unfortunately the the oracle and the tarot doesn't have the same card stock, and it's sticking together still because of the gilding. But I still don't know where did I put this. Where did I put the fool? I swear to God, I still had it last time I showed this deck. But <laughs> oh wait, look, look. This should be here somewhere. Because I don't think I shuffled it. I just showed a few cards, but here it is. So, uh, I hope you can see it because I can't really see my camera. There's a huge ass crocodile underneath, and she's just standing on there. Oh, look at this little tiny bridge, and there's a beautiful flower, and la 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 la. And you just, you know, like. Will the crocodile eat this person or are they gonna become friends and, you know, travel to time and space? You don't know. In this moment, when you look at it, it's your own perception, what you see in the card. You see the danger or you see the possibilities. And I think that's a lovely way to look at the full card as well. Because what, you know, what does it make you feel? Is it, for example, with the Ten of Bonds, is it a sweet burden? because you're collecting flowers, or did you collect too much things uh, that even though they are pretty and they seem lovely, they are just getting too much and you should stop collecting uh, those flowers, insert whatever you want, because no matter how nice each of them separately, the added weight is just too much for you. So I'm, I'm very, very, very intrigued by this deck and I'm very pleased that I finally gave in and got it. Because I was, uh, you know, I was a little worried that it's not gonna be something that I connect with in, in real life and that the size won't be good because, you know, it's bigger, but I can hold it, uh, maybe not easily, but I can hold it com still comfortably. So I love this five of cups. I don't know why, I just love it. So yeah, I'm just, it, it looks like and feels like a very smart deck. And this was the card that I've seen on Giselle's uh, Instagram that made me uh, decide that, you know what, I'm, I'm getting this because ladybugs are now connected to my, my grandma. And when I saw this card and I, I realized that this deck has a ladybug, I kind of felt like it was something coming from her. Maybe, you know, it's just me talking myself into getting this deck or giving myself excuses, but ladybugs now connected to her. And when I saw this card, I was like, oh, okay. I kind of, I, this was the last push, I guess, to get this deck. So it didn't work um, as in make me feel a little, you know, less worried about the job, the new job and whatnot, which was an interesting start. And at some point I will talk about it. Probably uh, in my, in December when I do my huh, what happened this year video, which is going to be an interesting one. But... Uh, I don't even know what I want. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So it, it didn't work for that why I bought it, you know, to make myself less worried or more calmer or just have something else focused on before the job because it arrived the day I started. So I couldn't even open it until the weekend. But 
it still makes me very, very uh, excited to actually work with this deck, which, which I appreciate because, oh, look at that. Because it seems uh, very, very interesting. And it seems like uh, the type of deck that I work the best with, uh, where I can just get the messages, not just from wherever they come, <laughs> but from certain elements of the card. I love when there are just, you know, things in the, in the card that you can focus on, because it's going to be always something different. Do you concentrate on the hair, which looks like an octopus, or, or the tiny fishies, or where she's sitting on a shell, or her expression? So, you know, what do you um focus on it's always different and I, I think it's always cool so yeah i can't wait to work with this and like i said i didn't regret any of these decks it's just that they didn't help the way that i was hoping they would help and i think it's just the lesson was sometimes you can't make yourself better immediately so there are things you need to deal with in your own time and slowly and I don't even know. I don't want to try to sound the wise old person. <laughs> it's just, you could be like, oh, duh, we know that already. But it was a new type of experience for me. So I'm I'm glad that I know this now. So, yeah. But I'm going to bl stop blubbering. Uh, thank you so much if you were here. I know I'm not posting as much as I used to. I will catch up with the Winchesters. I decided to watch all the episodes that went um, or were aired and make uh, one video about those and then uh, pick up the weekly readings because I just, there's no way I could do them separately. So that's gonna come. And I'm planning on posting a pick a card reading on my other channel about, I don't even know. I will see what the message comes through tomorrow morning when I'm feeling, filming the video. So if you're interested about uh, pick a card readings, so seeing these decks in actual readings, please subscribe, subscribe to my second channel. You can find it linked in the channels tab or in the, did I, I don't even know if I link it in the description, but I should do that. But yeah, at least uh, I will try. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here and please do let me know how you guys are doing. I kind of feel a bit, little out of loop. So if you're still here, still watching, yeah, you know, like put me a dragon emoji if you can in the comments down below. That would be cool. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.